Hi, Kitty Cats. Today is April 29th, 2024, and I want to answer a question I got from Morgan Witten that asked, why did I choose Thailand over a closer country? The quick answer is that I didn't look at any closer countries, but there's a reason for that. Thailand has a culture within it called Katoi, and Katoi, loosely translated, means ladyboy, typically refers to a transgender woman. Now, this is not a brand new culture. Um, the earliest references to Katoi goes back to just before 1300, which, if you're keeping track, is actually before the Gregorian calendar went into effect. So, the culture has been around Thailand for a very long time. They are fairly well respected. They do not have legal status yet, but there are Katoi actresses, singers, models. There are beauty contests held for Katoi people. So I chose Thailand because the culture is accepted, certainly much more accepted than in other parts of the world. The other reason is that because this subculture exists, the gender-affirming surgery has been worked on for many years. I found the value 1975, when gender-affirming surgeries began being performed in Thailand. So that's 50 years, almost as long as the WPATH guidelines have been in effect. So hopefully that answers your question, Morgan. And uh, if you liked this video, please subscribe, please like it, please share it. And if you want to talk about this, use the hashtag Amy in Thailand, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.